G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Now I'll be very honest, man. Uh well guys, man. Uh what am I trying to say? I'll be very honest. Today's been a bit of a weird day. Been a bit of a weird day. Uh of course we all know the passing of Stan Saverin, uh, the local Pittsburgh Steelers legend. Now, obviously, I didn't know him from a bar of soap, but every time I clicked on the Steelers app or Steelers Nation Radio after a game. You heard that iconic voice, man, and it was amazing. And that's like like the connection I have with him, or a lot of Steel fans do, is pre-game, post-game, uh, Stan Saverin on Steelers. You know, he's been he's been in Pittsburgh for a very long time. So it's been a wild and emotional day today because when I first woke up, uh, we had the release of, and this is why, look, the, 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 title, the title will make sense in a minute. The title will make sense. Because the title says right now, we're very lucky to be Steelers fans. We are. It will make sense. Even though with the passing of Stan, I feel like we are very lucky uh, to have this experience and have a really supportive culture uh, around our team and a really supportive Steeler Nation, like dead set. Even, even you guys, for me in the comments and stuff like that, I freaking love it. So it's awesome. But when I woke up today, it was Ryan Clark, Patrick Peterson, and Troy, number 43, all having a conversation. If that wasn't emotional enough uh, with Ryan Clark's story, how Troy wrote him a letter and there was a time was he, he, I think Ryan Clark said he got injured twice or something like that. And then pretty much his career ended and it was see you later. It was really emotional for Ryan Clark and for a man to get on, on, the, uh, on the airwaves and kind of break that down an almost breakdown in tears saying that story to Troy was really an, a, an awesome glimpse to see, um, you know, behind the fourth, the fourth wall behind the steel curtain. If I, if I put it that way, right. Um, really, really, yeah, really awesome to see. And I want to go back and listen to the podcast again. When I woke up, it was really early when I saw the podcast, uh, I was half awake listening to it, but you had Troy, you had BMAC and you have a future stealer now, Patrick Peterson, who signed a two year contract who can lead the young fellas on the, on the field and show them the right way. I thought that was fantastic. And that's why we're truly, you know, um, we're lucky to be Steelers fans. Then as the day progressed, we found out the news of Stan Saverin passing away, um, I think at the age of 76, I think it was, right? Still, still pretty young. I know he had some health problems. I think he had some um, health problems with cancer. Even, even this year, I, I found out this morning, I, di I didn't know, I wasn't, keep, I wasn't keeping up. But I found this morning that he had to amputate his, uh, I think, foot. Uh, you know, had some several several health problems. But we find out today that he's passed away. Now, I want to read from... I've got a few things I want to share. And I want to read from uh, PittsburghSteelers.com because Art Rooney gave, it, gave a nice, nice uh, memorial little text here. Uh, let me read from... What am I getting it from? This is from Twitter. So, they, so Art Rooney the second says, Today's a very sad day in the city of Pittsburgh as we lost a legendary person, media icon, and close friend. With the passing of Stan Saverin, he was a gentleman in every way possible, and he did so much for the city and Western PA. With his uh, honest candor and knowledge of all sports, both locally and nationally, Stan was involved for many years. And I believe, actually, I think he was involved in sports like 50 years. So what an icon. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, working on Steelers, Steelers, Steelers Radio Network, which is why I'm very familiar with him there, um, doing several Steelers interviews and shows, while also being a value, valuable contributor to the Hall, Hall of Honor committee. So he selects the Hall of Honor, the Steelers there. Our thoughts and prayers with his entire family during this difficult time. He was truly one of a kind and will be missed and always remembered. Right? Always remembered. Now, for me, guys, uh, let me bring this back. For me... And let me let, share your thoughts in the comments below. But he was a valued, uh, you know, piece of this black and gold Steeler puzzle. Like I said, when I when I was, I think even even years ago, uh, before I started doing podcasting, that kind of stuff, when I was doing my normal job, or if I was overseas in Canada, I would hit that Steelers radio button, and who do you get? Stan. You hear his voice, right? And I used to like his old school, you know sports radio voice that real calm soothing uh confident speech i used to love that i, I think i was i think it was awesome and that, that's why he intrigued so many listeners you know and he he worked up even until the the times when he's getting sick and there's another quote or another two quotes i want to read from uh stan himself he said this 
um, in 2020. He says here, I don't think I could retire without knowing what I would do. Severin said in 2020, until I can answer that question, I can't retire. And that kind of hangs with me a little bit too, because he says here, I get up the same time, drink a pot of coffee, read the paper or online, but then it would be 8.15 a.m. in the morning. Then he says, now what am I going to do? I can't play tennis eight hours a day. So that is that is awesome. Like that is an awesome quote saying, why would I retire when I've got nothing else to do? I, I got to go in, 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 you know, he's got to go hard in the paint, got to keep working. And he, and he didn't do that. So I think that was, that was fantastic and awesome quote from him. Um, I also want to bring up some other, other things too. I've got a few things here, guys, but and let me know in the comments below how you feel and what you think. I'm just doing this video so I can get this off my chest and hopefully some, you know, other Steelers members in the community can get stuff off their chest too. It, it does help in these situations. Uh, we have, so I think I wanted to bring up first uh, Batch. Here we go. So this is where I know him from most. Of course, we know um, pre-game, post-game, we heard Charlie Batch and Stan. And Charlie Batch says here, words cannot express how much you, you meant to me and my family. I will always truly miss you on air as you made my job a whole heck easier more than anything. The talks we had offline, you know what I'm saying? I will be, will be forever grateful to you. Thank you for being, I think it was a friend uh, after the dot, dot, dots, right? Man, this is, yeah. So it, it is, it's been a very, very, very uh, emotional, emotional day right? Very, very emotional day. And I know these things have to happen, but when they do happen, you're like, damn, man. Because like, yeah, I remember just just playing the radio after a game. And I'm pretty sure that was when, when fans would call in and sometimes fans would talk too long and Stan would get, the, would get angry and just, you know, cut them off, um, stuff like that. But you always had that good banter, that good old school you know, sports, Steelers banter. And that's what I liked. That's what I still like, actually. That's what I liked with uh, Tunch and Wolf. When Tunch passed away, it was really hard because I liked their old school banter, that old school football talk, right? You put on the radio, you sit back, you, you do your chores, you clean the house, you go to work, you're driving to work, you're driving from work, and you hear them in the background. I think, that, I think that's, that's something we kind of miss in, the, in this world of TV, um, you know, what happened for me, you know, lately kind of style videos, TikTok, Rick Rocks, all that stuff. I miss the old school radio. And that's why I like Steelers Nation Radio as well. Got a few more things and then I'll, then I'll, uh, I'll um, start to, to wrap it up. But uh, got one here from, um, from Missy too. Missy Matthews, who works for the Steelers. We all know her. She says here, when I was an intern at, at, at FSN Pittsburgh, I was so nervous to run to the teleprompter. Stan told me not to worry because he didn't use it anyways. He was just having a conversation with his audience, the absolute best and true professional. Now, the one thing I take away from this is he was just having a conversation with his audience. I'll tell you what, guys, that's what I try and do as well. You don't need to be too fancy. You just got to get on the microphone. You got to talk your talk and talk from your heart and you should be sweet. Everything else should follow. And I did get that with Stan when I, when I listened to the radio. It just felt like, it just felt like a, like a, uh, a mate of yours talking about the Steelers and he, he, he talked and you listened. So that, that's what I love too. Um, but I did want to say another few things too, why we are very lucky to be, to be Steelers fans, right? So I know I, I spoke a real long time about this. This could go on forever too, but I spoke a long time about, um, uh, about Stan there, but it's, but it's very, 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 very welcomed. But there's another reason why we're very lucky to be Steelers fans. The amount of access we have to this team is incredible, I think. You think of the podcast today where you have Troy Palamu, you have uh, B Mac, Patrick Peterson, right? That's one podcast. Another podcast, you have Arthur Moat and Deeks, former player Arthur Moats. He's fantastic. Deke is doing his thing over there too. You have other guys like Ike Taylor, Mark Bergen in a podcast, uh, Believe in Steelers, uh, I think, Network or something like that. Uh, the Believe, Believe in Network or something. I can't remember. remember. Anyways, you have those blokes there. You have Cameron Hayward's got a podcast too on the Omaha Network. There's more more Steelers content. Uh, you even have the the recent bloke coming up now, K, uh, Caleb and, and, D, and D Gray, who was a seventh rounder, but still a former a former uh, player. He has a podcast, right? More access. I'm trying to think who else we have. We have, uh, I said Ike Taylor. I said Arthur Motes. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to forget the ones. I, I was preparing to say some more names, but now I've just completely forgotten. But what I'm trying to say is, guys, we have so much access now to the team. It's incredible. Like, absolutely incredible, right? There's one. Oh, also, I think Ryan Shazier has a podcast too. Uh, oh, the, the big one I've missed. DK, DK and the big Ragu, Ramon Foster. I am so happy to be a Steelers fan because the amount of access we have to our team is just insane. Like we all, we all have, you know, the, Insta, the Instagram, the Twitters, the Pittsburgh Steelers on every platform, but the players who are coming out there are also Big Ben. I forgot about Big Ben. Big Ben's got a podcast now too that brings on stars and, and, and you know, um, uh, Pouncey and those fellas and uh, James Debo Harrison, all those guys. We are truly so very lucky to be a Steelers fan because of the amount of access for the players that we have. Troy today, Moats, Moats every day, DK, Ramon Foster, Ike Taylor, all these Steelers icons that are consistently talking good uh, or good things and, and you know, critiquing the, the Steelers game. So I really appreciate that. I think that's, I think that's freaking, freaking awesome. The amount, the amount of stars we have in this space that is talking Pittsburgh is 100% awesome. Now, to end this stuff, because it is going very long, so I do appreciate your time. I'm just talking from the heart, though. Um, I'm going to link this this Twitter, because I found this from uh, Hannah Mears. Hannah Mears is a Pittsburgh Steelers, I think, uh, announcer. I think I've seen her do stuff for the Pirates. She might do stuff for the Steelers, too. I think she she's in the, she's in the media for sure. So up and coming uh, media personality. She says this, beautiful piece put together in memory of Stan. Uh, by Jared D, uh, Jared T. Barton. It says here, look back at the stellar career of Stan Saverin, the godfather of Pittsburgh, who died today at the age of 76 after the battle with cancer, right? And I will, I will link, I will link the Twitter. So scroll down, scroll up, find the description, and you'll see it goes for about a minute and a half. And it really get, it really pays um, honor and respect to Stan in his you know life's work, what he did, talking in the microphone. Right, and from what I have a little small part in this that I am a, a YouTuber talking Steelers, these guys are up there up the very top talking talking their stuff, and it's freaking awesome to see. And that's why I think we are one of the truly one of the luckiest, um, you know, fan bases out there. And we are very lucky to be Steelers fans. Not only do we have a great team, we have such great access to the team, and I, I think it's awesome. Anyways, guys, that was a long one, but it, it needed to be said. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I've got a live tomorrow. We're talking about the AFC North. Can the Steelers win the AFC North? But um, yeah, very emotional day today. You had Troy Palamu on on uh, all, all Things Covered. And then you had the passing of Stan Saffron. And that's in a very, very emotional day. And hopefully you guys can use this comment section to let to let your, you know, let your piece go. I've let my piece go now. And yeah, just got to say within within memory and thoughts and prayers uh, to Stan's um, friends and family and all the media personalities that work with him. I can't even imagine working with a bloke, you know, day to day and this happens. Anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of your morning and I'll see you later. I'll see you tonight. <laughs>